So how is the relaxed John Mitchell going on the first couple of stages? Probably a bit too relaxed, I'd say. <laughs> um, Richie's the one that's uh, going pretty well. Okay. I'd say he'd be he'd be like 20 seconds up after wow. two stages. Going pretty well. Um, I've never driven wet stuff before. It's my first time, so I really didn't know going into it. But just kind of took me a couple of bends to get into and just feel what kind of grip I had. And then I just felt comfortable and just trusted John in the notes 100%. And it, there were some moments in there, <laughs> <laughs> but nothing... Nothing over exuberant, just the back of it just stepping out. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd say everybody, it's pure slush, so yes. nothing you can do. Just keep it on the road and hope for the best. Michael Harding with an outside chance of getting second now that uh, obviously Mitchell's tied it all up. Is that your aim here or do you think uh, it's a bit too far off? Look, he's definitely, I mean, yeah, that's, it's really Richie and I having a bit of a tussle. Um, Richie got us by a bit of time in the first stage. I don't know how he went in the second stage. Uh, we found the first stage diabolical. It was just yeah. ridiculous, really. Yeah. It was just, yeah, it's got too much horsepower. Just <laughs> snapping, snapping from wheel spin, pulling gears and just going nowhere. Outside chance of a second in the championship here, depending on how the results all fall between a couple of you. How are those first stages treated you? Well, mate, I'm just glad to be here, actually. <laughs> uh, we went off in the first stage, thought we are going to go over a cliff, stalled it, but uh, we're still here and uh, we're still a chance. The very first corner of the rally, it was um, completely backwards and I thought, oh no, I've ended it all so early. But no, I sort of got it under control, got back to my normal rally speed, which um, I only ever go above that when I see cameras and spectators. Action of plenty in the four-wheel drive series. We have to be at the podium to work out who's won. There's been drama everywhere. I think it goes along the lines of Richie. You had a problem in a couple of last stages. Of course, it's a bonus point for four-wheel drive. You were equal with John Mitchell and Joe Cameron in points and the round. It went back to the very first special stage of the Who Won. No one actually, you didn't know you'd won for a while. Congratulations, mate. You, you've won four-wheel drive, eventually. Eventually, do you know, it's a, it's a long road all year. Train. We've had a lot of disappointments, but... Um, yeah, it was good. It was nice. We, we, we set good pace all weekend, so um, especially on that last 33k stage, we, we lost about half a minute to uh, right rear control arm let go, so bitter disappointed then. So I think we were three seconds down then going into the super special. But on the count back then to whoever won the first stage, that's who got it, so I can't get much closer than that. So. It took a while to work out. I mean, this falls into co-drivers laps. The drivers stand back. Emotions, you're up. You thought you won, then you didn't win. Um, Unbelievable when it happens like that, isn't it, sometimes, oh, Johnny? Absolutely. Well, in, look, in Richie's words, you know, if I had a pet duck, it would have drowned. I learned that <laughs> off Richie, and like, that's how disappointed we were. So, um, yeah, I still can't believe it at the moment. It's a great effort, and fair play to Richie, you know, for a rookie, he's driving brilliantly well. Mm -hmm. 